Hey, how's your costume voting going? Are you as excited as I am about the new outfits? Let's proceed with our plant tasks. And today we will focus on the charming lily of the valley. The lily of the valley is a delicate bell-shaped flower that typically grows in clumps. It typically features a cluster of small, white, sweet-smelling flowers that bloom in the springtime. The plant is commonly found in gardens and woodland areas. Some people also know it as the May Lily or May Bells. The growth time for the Lily of the Valley is exactly 24 hours and can be harvested around the Hogwarts grounds. Let's review what's needed to complete the research tasks for the Lily of the Valley. The first task is to harvest 35 Lily of the Valley plants from any location around Hogwarts grounds. The second task is to accumulate 50,000 light points. The third task is to harvest 100 plants without any damage caused by weeds. And the last task is to sell 100 golden quality plants. We will skip the third and fourth tasks because these tasks will be automatically accomplished during the completion of the second task, accumulating 50,000 light points. So, how many pots will we actually need to accumulate 50,000 light points? First of all, the difficulty of accumulating light points for plants will depend on how many colors you have unlocked. If you're just starting, you will have to refill the light gauge every 100 minutes. However, as you progress and unlock more colors, the process will become progressively easier. Another important point to remember is that you should avoid unlocking the Lumos Solemn talent if your goal is to complete tasks related to accumulating light points. This talent prevents light points from decaying which would interrupt your task progression. So, it's recommended to keep Lumos Solemn off while completing such tasks. Without delving too much into the math, one pot can accumulate a daily total of 1,400 light points. Knowing that the growth time for the pot is 24 hours, we can divide the needed 50,000 light points by the daily accumulation rate of 1,400 light points. This leads us to an approximate value of 36 pots that would be required to reach the goal. Based on the information at hand, we can estimate that completing the accumulate 50,000 light points task will likely take approximately five days. Now, let's review the first task, which is to harvest plants from any location around Hogwarts. It's worth noting that there is a daily collection limit of five plants around the school grounds. Collecting 35 plants will require gathering five plants each day resulting in a process that takes seven days overall. This means you'll be working on this task for a week, making it a relatively time-consuming task compared to the others. If you are a beginner and have not yet reached the Lily of the Valley, let's take a moment to review the kelp plant. It is an aquatic plant that thrives in the ocean, featuring long slender blades with a deep green color. Kelp plays a crucial role in maintaining the health and balance of marine ecosystems providing a habitat for various marine organisms while also serving as a critical food source for certain species. Its growth time is also 24 hours, and it can be collected from the lake floor in the Black Lake. Let's review what's needed to complete the research tasks for the kelp. The first task is to remove a total of 30 pests from the kelp plant. The second task is to accumulate a total of 5,000 mood points. The third task is to gather a total of 150 plants in the Black Lake. Lastly, you need to sell a total of 300 golden quality plants. The first task requires infesting the plant with a total of 30 worms and then removing them. Avoid using advanced talents like the levitation charm or healthy resilience during this process. These pests can randomly appear with each passing hour and there's no specific time frame to complete the task. You can handle this while tending to other plants. Let's move on to the next task. We will also skip the task where we need to collect 150 plants in the Black Lake. This task is extremely time-consuming and can be completed in 30 days. As there are not many tasks related to collecting aquatic plants, we recommend collecting them on a daily basis. Unlike the light points, mood points start with 100 points. This means that we need to wait until the mood starts to decay before topping it up again, which can slow down the process. Also, remember not to use the play music talent, as it will prevent the mood from decaying. Eventually, you will complete this task while managing the fourth task. Therefore, we will skip the second task as well. So, how many pots should we prepare to accumulate 300 plants to be sold? Given that the average yield of non-combat plants is approximately five, and we need to gather 300 plants, we can calculate the number of pots required as follows. 
when we divide 300 by 5, we arrive at an estimate of 60. Therefore, it appears that we will need around 60 pots to accumulate the necessary 300 plants for this task. Aware that the kelp has a specific growth time to calculate the number of days needed, we need to divide the 60 pots by the 8 daily planted pots. This will give us approximately 8 days in total to complete the task. Now, let's turn our attention to the beloved mandrake plant. This unique and intriguing plant is not only a staple in many magical spells, but also possesses a rich history and unique features. Mandrake, a plant recognized for its magical properties, has a unique root shape that bears a striking resemblance to the human body, with its leaves taking the form of arms. Despite commonly referring to mandrake as a root, it is indeed a plant. In folklore, mandrake has been used for various purposes, including in herbal medicines and rituals of mystery. While it has been associated with mythical properties, there lacks solid scientific evidence to validate these beliefs. The mandrake plant has a growth time of 24 hours. Now, let's review the research tasks associated with the mandrake plant. The first research task is to remove 50 pests from the plant. The second research task is to show off the plant in a golden quality state once. The third task is to sell 200 plants with a quality level of purple or higher. Finally, the last task is to harvest a total of 500 plants, regardless of their quality level. We will not discuss the first task, as we have already explored a similar task related to kelp previously. Before we can showcase our plant at its peak condition, we must first acquire the herbologist's pride emote from the Bewildering Blooms shop. This task is relatively simple and will be completed promptly once you obtain the emote. We will not delve into the third task of selling plants, as you will definitely have an abundance of plants available for selling after successfully completing the fourth research task. So, the question is, how many pots do we actually need in order to successfully harvest 500 plants? Given that the typical yield of a combat plant is 7, we can divide the required 500 plants to 7, which will roughly equal to 72 pots. When we divide the necessary 72 pots by the daily planting rate of 8 pots, we can estimate that the task will take approximately 9 days to complete. You might observe that these calculations appear straightforward. And this is because all the plants mentioned so far have a standard growth rate of 24 hours. In the future, we will delve into more advanced plants with potentially distinct growth rates. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. Although there is still so much more I would like to discuss with you, unfortunately, our time today is coming to a close. If you have any queries or need clarification, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Additionally, for those who don't want to miss out on your favorite series or latest news, you are warmly welcome to join my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. Have you heard about the rumors about the new career? Miss Cole, I'm afraid I'm a bit bewildered. Could you please enlighten me? There are rumors that the upcoming career research will be about magical creature training. That would be wonderful. I'm really hoping that the pet system will be included as well. Who knows? Maybe it's true or maybe it's not. After all, it's just a rumor.